It was 2012 when Dr. Stephen Scheiman, sporting his fashionable bow ties, began walking these halls. While he wasn't here when the medical school was founded in 2008 as the Commonwealth Medical College, he has certainly helped build what it's become. Dr. Scheiman recalls the early challenges he faced. The school had just come through uh, being on probation for its accreditation. Uh, and that it had come through that, but it still had more work to go to achieve full accreditation. It was also struggling to stay financially afloat. The financial model was one that needed to change uh, and that that would require a lot of work. Uh, and it did, uh, but we made it happen. The school integrated with Geisinger and changed its name to Geisinger Commonwealth School of Medicine. It provided the school a major affiliation with a large health system in need of homegrown medical professionals. Some of those future doctors are participants in the Abigail Geisinger Scholars Program, which launched in 2018. The program provides qualifying students with full tuition and a monthly stipend in exchange for their commitment to work in the Geisinger system. Honestly, it's meant everything to me. I don't think I would be here without it. Second year medical student John Coulter of Mountaintop credits Dr. Scheinman with transforming more than his life. For the past decade, uh, Everything that has happened in the school has been a part of what his vision has been. Um, his, his legacy really speaks for itself. Cameroon native Frank Money, an Abigail Geisinger scholar and first year medical student, felt the influence of Dr. Scheiman from the first time they spoke. Uh, I was just amazed, you know, by the amount of wealth of information that he shared with me and just how personable he was, really. Dr. Scheiman believes the biggest accomplishment during his leadership is helping build a school that's stable and secure while continuing to innovate in curriculum and community service. The perfect setting to be training the next generation of physicians. In Scranton, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News.